This week's recipe is not for the health food fanatic. It's not vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free, or good for folks with lactose intolerance. It's a fantastic pasta dish loaded with carbs, cheese, and cured meat. It's pasta carbonara. Start by grating your cheese. A uh, Pecorino Romano or Parmigiano is typically used in carbonara, um, but I'm using a Pecorino Toscano. It's uh, slightly less salty than a Romano and a little bit nuttier in flavor. Next, slice your meat. Now, typically guanciale is used here, but I live in the south and I'm using smoked hog's jowl. Just remember, anything you use needs to be high in fat because that helps with the consistency of the sauce and flavor. Once you have those two items prepped up, go ahead and fill a pot up with water, get it on your stove over high heat, throw a lid on it, and bring it up to a boil. Once it's boiling, add a couple fat pinches of sea salt and then drop in your pasta. Just remember, don't overdo it on the salt. You're adding salty meat and salty cheese to your dish and you're going to use some of this water to finish it off with. You don't want your carbonara tasting like a salt bomb. Now, heat up a saute pan over a medium flame and add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. When it's hot, start adding your bacon or your guanciale or your smoked hog's jowl. Whatever you've decided to use for this dish, this is the time to start browning it. Continue to cook your fancy bacon until it's evenly browned, slightly crispy, and has rendered out most of its delicious fat. Then, go ahead and add your pasta, which should have been slightly undercooked. Now it's time to start making your sauce, so add a few ladles of pasta water to the pan. Grab the cheese you grated earlier and add all of that to the pan, along with a ton of freshly grated black pepper. Yeah, when I said a lot, I meant it. Now give the pan a few tosses to melt the cheese and incorporate all of the ingredients. Finally, turn your heat off and add your eggs. Now mix everything around really well. The heat from that pasta is going to temper those eggs and soon you'll have a delicious creamy sauce. If the sauce is too tight, use a little pasta water to thin it out. Now it's time to plate it up. Once you have all your pasta in the bowl, don't forget all those little bits of deliciousness left in the pan. Finish the carbonara with grated cheese and some more freshly ground black pepper. Now I've made enough carbonara for two, and there's no better way to enjoy a gigantic bowl of pasta than to share it with a good friend, especially when they've been helping you out on the shoot all day long. I guess hard work does pay off. I had a ton of fun making this video, and I really hope you enjoyed it. If so, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every Monday. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next week. Here we go. Three, two, one. Shit. Start over. <laughs>